History of civilization is basically the path we took to stuffing more delicious food into our ever fatter faces. While our ancient ancestors may have been happy with some berries and a half-burnt rat, we've developed a range of dishes combining ingredients from every corner of the earth. However, it's not always been plain sailing. Sometimes mankind manages to concoct a dish so vile many of us would rather starve to death than force down a mouthful. That's right, folks. Today, we're looking at the top 10 worst dishes to ever exist. Before we ruin your appetite completely, please take a second to subscribe because, let's be honest, at the end of this, you're going to be so grossed out that you'll never probably want to see us again. We're really sorry. Number 10. Garum The Romans knew how to party, and they certainly knew how to have a decadent and weird meal by our modern standards. Roman banquets were renowned for the sheer volume of food, but they also liked some culinary weirdness. One of the staples of all Roman meals was a condiment called garum, which was made by fermenting fish intestines. Garum created such a stink that production was not permitted in the cities due to the powerful aroma. Just a taste of that would be enough to make anyone need the vomitorium. Number 9. The Indiana Jones Variety is the spice of life, and everyone enjoys trying out a new type of food from a far-flung corner of the world. So when Indiana Jones and his companions sat down for some dinner in the Temple of Doom, they must have been very excited to sample something completely different. The chef does not disappoint on this front with eyeballs and chilled monkey brains. Both of these are still eaten today. In Indonesia, monkey brains are thought to cure impotence, and the Icelandic dish Svio has a boiled sheep head with eyeballs still in for the eating. Number 8. Roti Sans Peril The French are world-renowned for their culinary mastery. If you were invited to a dinner party in 19th century France by a wealthy aristocrat, you might be served the Roti Sans Paril, which we assume means the death of all birds. Invented in 1807, this dish comprises 17 birds of decreasing size stuffed within each other. What you end up with on your plate starts with a bustard, stuffed with a turkey, stuffed with a goose, stuffed with a swan, stuffed with a pheasant, stuffed with a chicken, stuffed with a duck, and on and on, all the way down to a lark stuffed with a garden warbler. And don't worry if you're not such a big meat fan, the garden warbler is stuffed with an olive, just to add a bit of balance. Number 7. Ottolans Sadly, the French sadism towards birds doesn't end there. There's the classic foie gras made by overfeeding geese. But surely the meanest is Ortolan. These little songbirds are now on the protected list, but they were a French classic for a long time. OK, so killing a bird is nothing new. Why so bad? Well, for reasons only known to the chefs, apparently the only way to do it was to take the live bird and drown it in brandy. Can't kill them normally? No. This is why we can't have nice things. Number 6. Flower Soup Yeah, this is exactly what you think it is. It was relatively common in Victorian Britain, and they used to really let their hair down by adding caraway seeds or nutmeg to the already delicious flour and water combination. The French got onion soup, the Spanish got gazpacho, but the Brits really pushed their taste buds that extra step. Number 5. Cow Heels Cows are so big that it's hard to look at the full animals and pitch them being a steak. But of all the bits that look potentially appetizing, the muddy hooves are not one of them. Although using all the animal is to be applauded, we could probably just get rid of the feet, couldn't we? Guys? In parts of Africa and Jamaica, stewed cow heels are a thing. Some recipes advise you to buy from your local butcher to make sure you're getting real cow's feet. Why? What worse thing could they be substituted for? Number 4. Maggot Cheese Kazamazu comes from Sardinia, but it should definitely stay there. Its name translates as rotten cheese, and before you get clever and say, well, all cheese is rotten, just wait. They take a good old pecorino-type cheese and then introduce the larvae of the cheese fly. 
As the larvae grow, they eat their way through the cheese and, you know, pass it through. When it's ready, you put a slice on bread, but you have to use your hand as a guard since the maggots are still very much alive and try to jump out. Number 3. Summer Salad Pie The 60s were great for many things, such as music, mind-altering substances, getting laid and moon journeys. However, its major downfall was its food. The world was finally out of the rationing and supply problems caused by World War II, so it went for a more is more attitude in the kitchen. Summer salad pie was a pastry dish filled with a vaguely tomato flavoured jello, covered in cheese and tuna mayonnaise. In one great bite, you could combine soggy pastry, wobbly bland tomato slime, and creamy fish. Number 2. Black Iguana Egg Here's a quick question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Or the iguana? The Mayans struggled to find a good source of protein as they didn't have any obvious animals to domesticate, so they turned to the egg. But without any chickens around, they resorted to using iguanas. The egg is basically all yolk and their black leathery coating makes them much better protected. It doesn't make them any less gross, though. Number 1. Chitterlings from South America to North America now for our final grizzly dish. Chitterlings are a classic soul food dish, although the soul in question must have headed for eternal damnation. The normal way to make them is to boil pig's intestines in a pot for many hours to soften them up. It's thought that adding an onion helps reduce the disgusting odour that fills the kitchen. They're often battered and fried afterwards, which is probably the best way to cover up any gross ingredient. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video, and remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe.